Hello everyone, so I'm back with the series on IPR and Cyber Law 2016 Paper Solution for BACIT SEM6. My name is Professor Tirup Parmar and let's get started. In last lecture, we have completed our discussion on discussing technology license licensing. That is question 4, sub question B. We have already discussed what is licensing agreement. What are the different licensing agreements available? For example, there are four types, technology, licensing, joint venture, franchisee or trademark licensing agreement and last is copyright licensing agreement. So in last lecture, we have already discussed about technology licensing. Then next is joint venture licensing agreement and next is franchisee or trademark licensing agreement. So in this particular series, we are going to continue the same discussion for copyright licensing agreement. So let's start discussing what do you mean by copyright? A right to copy any intellectual property or any CD, any software, whatever you say, whether, whether we talk about literary work or whether we talk about artistic work or any XYZ, XYZ type of intellectual property. So without copyright, you cannot create multiple copies of the same thing. So if I have purchased CD of any operating system, so that particular CD comes with a license to use end users that particular operating system but we are not allowed to make one at least one copy of the same for our backup purpose so basically if we are end users to use any particular type of software for example operating system then under copyright licensing agreement we are not even allowed to create backup of the same or we are also not allowed to create copy of this uh, copy of that particular operating system and hand it over to your friend or any XYZ person. Uh, uh, with the help of some um, financial uh, reason or without financial reason where you offer it the same copy free of cost or after taking some money. You are not allowed to do so. Not even for free. Remember this? So that is what we mean by copyright licensing agreement. So if I am uh, owner of any intellectual property, so if I want to hand over the same to any organization or company or any person, so at that point of time, we basically sign copyright licensing agreement. So as you can see, the copyright licensing is done for manufacturing, distributing or marketing. The result of literary, that is, computer program, songs or all these things comes under database that is also comes under literary and artistic means someone's painting and other things. So that comes under artistic and literary. So as you can see literary and artistic works efforts of creator. So copyright allows right to copy my software, my movie, song or some painting which is, uh, uh, which is uh, uh, created by me. So that is what we mean by type or category what we mean by copyright agreement and now collective licensing is quite common for use of material in copyright and related area including performers right so if i basically purchase some movies uh, uh, right of some movie then the actor or performer who performed in that particular movie they do have right over the same intellectual property on international level we have already signed one agreement under World Intellectual Property, that is WIPO, we have already signed one agreement under this particular type of organization and that type of agreement is called as World Intellectual Property Organization Perform uh, Performers and Phonograms Treaty. So under that particular agreement on international level, we and many signatory to this particular agreement agreed that on creation of some song or movie or any such type of thing not just director or producer the actor or singer who offers their efforts while creating that particular intellectual property they do have rights over that particular intellectual property and hence this type of rights are called as collective licensing or collective rights for example if we talk about movie the singer who basically offered his song or dedicated his song to that particular movie obviously that singer got right over it 
at the same time if some salman khan or amir khan worked in that movie so obviously they also got some right over it plus the director who directed that movie they do have right producer who invested the money they do have right so as we see we call it collective licensing so while purchasing rights of a movie at that point of time we also need to involve all these people who are involved or whose intellectual property involved in or while creating that particular property or movie i hope it is very much clear now so let's get started discussing the next thing so question 4 sub question c now here we already discussed type four types there are basically four types of ip licensing agreement remember it is licensing agreement not type of license there are types of license which is different there are three types of license called as sole license exclusive license and non exclusive license i have already discussed or i have already covered the same thing in my previous lecture and there uh, there is a difference between ip licensing agreement agreement remember i'm using a word agreement ip licensing agreement so when we talk about ip licensing agreement there are four types first first is uh, uh sorry uh, first is technology licensing second second is joint venture third is franchise licensing and fourth is copyright licensing which we have just completed right now and now here we are going to discuss if we if we have those type of intellectual property and if we give the same to some or we assign the rights over that particular intellectual property to some second or third party then what are the advantages and what are the disadvantages as you can read the question here what are the advantage and disadvantages of ip licensing means if we give license to any person to use a if we are allowing any second or third party to use or officially providing license to use our intellectual property then how and uh, what are the advantages of the same so let's start it is very basic question i mean so uh, we'll just discuss two main two broad topics here in in advantage topic for licensor means the owner of intellectual property for example um uh, if i have uh, created or i have invented any very unique idea something like facebook google or some very innovative thing i have invented now i have skills to invent new idea or to work on new project but i don't have enough capital or investment to advertise that particular idea and earn profit out of it so in that case what we need to do we can invent our idea and we can ask people to pitch loan or we can say we can ask people to finance our idea okay so it is called as licensing advantages for licensor as you can see to the license in addition to one time payment he may get regular payment on ongoing sale so till the point that particular product or product based on my idea remains in a market i constantly gets some profit out of it so it is just to encourage people or to encourage talent out of each and every one government provided this type of architecture where if you have skill invent something don't worry about investment why because you will find some and other type of investors there are many big brands who are ready to invest but they don't have quality ideas so if you don't have enough money try to go for quality idea invent some quality idea and sell it to some big merchants or sell it to some big companies who will in turn give you reality that is your name will be introduced with that product as well as they will also give you some money plus on an average whatever they earns profit out of that profit some percent goes to that particular owner now second point in case of owner does not have money as i discuss the same thing this is the most important part in case of owner does not have money or other resources to use or commercialization his invention he may transfer the licensing rights to some one who is willing and has the necessary resources to develop commercialize and market the product i hope 
this advantages are very clear third point is self explanatory you can just read it out now let's discuss the advantages of licensee licensee means big companies who are ready to invest who have huge capitals but they don't have quality ideas so if we don't have quality idea then we have to waste or we have to actually invest one year two year in research and development so instead of wasting time in research and development they can directly purchase product from some talented person who have invented some quality ideas so it it is an advantage for big companies as well for for example samsung acer htc hp so to stay in market they again and again they need to invent some new ideas to stay in competitive position now instead of going keep on researching 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 which which might be not fruitful at any point of time so they can directly purchase quality ideas which are already invented by some person so this is the biggest advantage so uh, they instead of wasting their time and efforts in research and development they will just directly find person who are well talented to invest or uh, invent some quality idea for them so this is the biggest advantage of licensee the licensee needs not have to spend money and time in rigorous process of research and development at the same time second point as you can see here it is a cost effective process to get into market with new product at a greater speed so as we know uh, samsung or uh, oppo or many other company they after every 2 to 3 months they they come up with some new technologies now it is not possible for them to keep researching on the same things right so at that point of time they basically purchase some innovative ideas or intellectual property from some inventor i hope this particular discussion is very clear to you and last point the valuable technology will make it easier for licensee to get finance and finally cash the market opportunity by timely commercializing the product so if samsung or some other company stops coming up with a new technology then what will happen their their sales will go down so company will go in losses so to stay in a well position well financial position as well as to stay in market in a well reputed way they have to invent something so without wasting time in research and development directly purchase ideas who have already invented and that time you will find multiple choices as well for example there are four people who have uh, who have invented very very unique ideas so now you have four different ideas out of those four different ideas you can choose any one two or all the ideas for your coming product so that what we mean by the best way to boost your product or boost your market in advertisement or to actually earn lot and lot of profit in a business so as we discussed now advantages of licensing i hope this discussion is very clear to you now in next particular lecture we are going to continue our discussion with the licensing disadvantages so i'm ending this lecture now see you in the next lecture thank you